हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम योर आरुण टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी इन द केस ऑफ फ्रीली फॉलोइंग बॉडी लॉन्ग आंसर व्हेन वी गो टू द क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी दैट स्टेट एंड प्रूव लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी इन केस ऑफ फ्रीली फॉलोइंग बॉडी इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लॉन्ग आंसर क्वेश्चन इट कैरी 6 मार्क्स एंड द अदर 2 मार्क्स विल बी ऑफ in it in of the these problems they will be giving attached to is so firstly when we go for the statement you can have that energy can be neither created nor discharged it can be converted from one form of energy to another form but total energy remains constant because we can't create energy or we can't discharge energy but we can convert the one form to another form so so come by coming to the proof you can say that let us consider a freely falling body a freely falling body of mass m is falling from a height h above the ground okay this is its height it is a freely falling body these are the points at which it travel from here to c okay so from here to here we know that the height is h but from a to b we do we know that okay so we can write it as x from a to b and from b to c we don't know that so we can write it like this h minus h okay next at point a now we are going to calculate about point a at point a we can have that q is equal to 0 a is equal to c and height h is equal to h okay so potential energy at k is equal to mg h to so substitute the h in it potential energy at k is equal to mg h Actually, okay. Next, kinetic energy at k is equal to half m u square because it is at the initial state. So we are taking that u square. So k at k is equal to half m into what is u value zero zero square. We can write it as k at k is equal to zero. Kinetic energy at k is zero. So to calculate the total energy, we need to have We need to add potential energy and kinetic energy. So T E at E is equal to M G H plus zero. You can write it as total energy is equal to M G H. Consider this as equation one. Okay. Next. At point B. At point B, what we have? U is always zero, and then s is equal to x because from here to here it had made some displacement. It is x, so s is equal to x, and height h is equal to h minus x because same. It is the displacement, and the other one is height. So we can say that the height is h minus x. Let's go for it. Then P E at B, potential energy at B is equal to m g h. So substitute it. P E at B is equal to m g into h minus x. Then we are getting that m g h minus m g x. Okay. Then we are going to the kinetic energy, half m v square. And even one more, acceleration is equal to g. Okay, so we we know that the kinetic energy formula is half m v square. So we do not we do not know about v. So we can take that, take it as an. Okay, v square minus u square is equal to two as. One second, draw a line. Since a is equal to g, and as a, what we have got 
s is x so substitute and u is 0 yeah u square minus 0 square is equal to 2 g x v square is equal to 2 g x this is the value of v square so substitute it a v at b is equal to half m 2 g x 2 2 get cancelled then we get that a v at b is equal to m g x ok stop doing it next total energy at b t e at b plus k e at b so t e at b is equal to m g h minus m g x plus m g x here minus m g x plus m g x both get cancelled went to home for all this so we will get that m g h total energy at b is also m g h consider this as equation number 2 then going to it point c at point c what is m u is always 0 here height is 0 because coming to the height it already reached the ground at point c it means it it, uh, it don't have any height now. so we can write height is 0 and displacement is h because here to here the displacement is x once again because here to here the displacement is x but it means it here to here the displacement is h now so x is equal to h and a is always g ok so we can calculate the potential energy at c is equal to mg h so potential energy at c is equal to mg into 0 it means potential energy at c is equal to z so ok next going to kinetic energy at c half m v square same as this since v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s formula and a is equal to g s is equal to h and u is 0 v square minus 0 square is equal to 2 g h v square is equal to 2 g h then substitute in this substitute in this half m 2 g h 2 to get cancel k e at c is equal to m g h ok so t e at c is equal to t e at c plus k e at c then go into that T e at c is equal to m g h plus 0 it means we can write that T e at c is equal to m g h ok until it is as equation c so now here we can write that according to law of conservation of energy in case of field falling bodies we can write that T e at a is equal to T e at b is equal to T e at c is equal to m g h that's it guys this is our law of conservation of energy in the case of freely falling bodies ok boys ok guys this is from this at point A at point B at last the point C ok guys if you like my explanation please like share and subscribe my channel i have given the detailed notes in description if want you can please check it and this is the very much easiest answer long answer which we can learn for six months so all the best to you always guys thank you